and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is my this is my fort I just built in about an hour or so. It's I'm I'm planning on getting the invasion mod because well it seems like a pretty cool mod. I recommend it a lot because well obviously you have to protect the Nexus and you put like this Nexus catalyst in and then all of these mobs start spinning around trying to get the Nexus. And it's just really cool. So I built a fort. I think it's really good defense against it. Okay, let's get started. First, to get through the entrance, you're going to have to go through four blocks of iron and two iron doors, which is a lot. And normally the most um, forts I've seen only have two iron doors to enter and just a big wall. I just added four blocks to make it safe. And also, to make it a bit harder for them, four iron golems. Why not? And each one has five players worth of health. And I have four here. So that's, well, 400 health, though. No, I don't need to tell you that, because you know it's simple. 100, 200 plus 200, or 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100, or two times. Or four times hundred, yeah. Okay, so the walls. Let's I just started off with a wall, and I thought it's going to change better. So here's my wall design. It's pretty simple. These anvils are pretty strong, so I mainly just put the anvils and nether brick wall, the nether brick fence for decoration together. And I think that looked pretty cool. I put um, a snow golem on top. I put the block on top here of the, of the snow golem because it rained and it killed all the snow golems and it was really annoying so I, so I put them back at, with the bedrock block on their face okay now also there's obviously a lava, lava mode so if they get through this and this guy doesn't push them back and they get through as a group which can be very dangerous because in a group they could do lots of damage they have to get through the lava mode which is a pain I'm not sure if it's pig engineer proof. They could probably just, just start here and maybe pill her up. I'm not sure if they if they're smart enough to do that. They probably are. I made a little flag flag. I muck up my words a lot. Um I think it's well okay. I'm not i I'm not sure if it if a country has this flag. I have no idea. I don't know all the flags. I only know a few. More like three or two. Anyway, so so also it's I guess it could be spider proof because they will climb up and they will get caught in the cobwebs, which will take a while to get through, and I can maybe snipe them or or the or the snow golems could, and then they would get up and well they stop because because well they get stopped by this block, which is going to be great for defending against them. Okay, now it's time to get inside. So, once you get in, you'll be greeted with, well, staircase. Okay, here's the path up to the Nexus. It, it uses parkour. Oh, I'm not very good at, at explaining why I do car, ugh, car, parkour. So, I'm just going to do this silently. Really. I don't think mobs can get up this. But I don't think they're intelligent enough to get up. Parkour. No, they're probably not. And then the Nexus isn't here. Yeah. Let's go down. Okay. So here's the storage thing for your for your for your all your weapons and stuff. And up here on level two, there's the floor two I should say. There's an enchantment table if you have enough XP you could probably enchant a sword or whatever. And then and that's pretty much all. Oh, and also here's the shooting bay. So you could snipe a few enemies. Why not? And then, if that's not enough, you can probably just when you get up to the nexus, there's there's a big plat. Sorry for the, any background noise. There's a big platform. Now I might just break that and break this and replace it with bedrock. Oh, oh, I'm terrible at this. Bedrock. I might just do that so you could go in here and snipe them all because well it's much easier because this is like a massive sniping area and then we started off 
The reason why I put on the flag is because I started off with this and to tell me how high it's, the base is going to go. It was originally not, wasn't going to be like big area, it was just going to be really tall. But, but I never got that tall, so I just sort of made it that big. Because um, my st soil started running out of space for my poles for the Nexus. Because it, then it might just end up with a, no lava and just be just like one block of lava and, and it'll look so ugly. But the lava is just a decoration. And it also might not be very useful because if you fail, which is going to be very bad because you fall into the lava and die. Unless you just make it a quick, if you fall like here, for example, and you could get out easily without taking lots of damage and yeah that's pretty much it nothing really massive left so i guess i'm gonna say goodbye um yeah bye for no new 10 i'm out